I'm here with Greg Wangard. He's the executive chef here at the Gardens in Avila. And Greg, this is like a serious organic farm to table. What do you have going on here? Yeah, we like to call it spontaneous garden cuisine. Uh, just because we grow different things in the garden. We have about an acre and a half garden on site. And then we're not in the garden. We like to shop at the farmer's markets. I think that we're in one of the best areas of the United States for a farmer's market, uh, knowing that it's a different market almost every day uh, of the week between North and South County. Right, and you're building your menu around that. Oh uh, Yeah, we are. We Not only the produce and fruits and vegetables, but we also deal with local fishermen that gets us a lot of the local catch. Uh, Dungeness crab uh, just came out and a lot of white sea bass right now, which is exciting. Yeah. Uh, halibut and salmon season was really good, but now it's sort of coming to an end. So it's fun. It keeps everything spontaneous. Absolutely. And so you spontaneously came from Wisconsin here. Yeah, I've been in, Cal <laughs> I've been, well, I've been in California for about 10 years. Uh, lived in LA for about four of them and then been to the Central Coast for seven. So then at Gardens of Avila since last February, um, my buddy Robert was the chef here and we did a lot of work together on the garden. We really wanted to continue that movement uh, between the garden and the restaurant and really just grow more and get more involved. And uh, it's, it's definitely challenging. <laughs> I think it's a lot easier going to a farmer's market and buying it than it is actually buying the seeds, planting the seeds, right. you know, maintaining the, all the elements of a garden exactly. between bugs and animals and um, and organically. We can make a lot of gophers too. Okay, <laughs> well, can you come and show me? Yeah. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go. This is sort of like our, our garnish bin that we, uh -huh. we sort of use every night to pick stuff off. You garnish little leaves with this. What was this again? Oh, that's a nasturtium. It's so on stuff like stuff like that, it's a type of herb, uh -huh. and you would basically take this and you could like peel the petals off and then garnish something with it, uh -huh. or add a whole flower to it. This is a type of uh, Mexican tarragon. And it's like sort of smells sweet. Fennel is great too because it grows wild here. Oh wow! You know, it grows grows everywhere, and uh -huh. it's sort of like the gift that keeps on giving. We take all the seeds and the flowers and then make fennel pollen and then like dust seafood with it and cook with it. This one here is like a, a rogue. Lemon verbena. We use it a lot in seasoning and then, like I said, the creme brulee, it makes great. And then I just like it too, just like as a thing, just to rub your hands for, for fragrance. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. It's so like, like, it's like a nice, like, fresh smell. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my gosh, it is. It smell, smells like a bowl of, of Fruit Loops. Well, the idea <laughs> was is to make a juice garden out here. Uh -huh. And it's like, you know, you can see here where you have almost direct access to the path. So then you would come in, you'd get water or juice right off oh of the trail. Oh my gosh, because that is... And then you would grow a lot of the oh, greens yeah. and kale and, you know, citrus and stuff like that. Because the Bob Jones Trail is right there mm -hmm. and this is the Gardens of Avila and thank you so yeah, much for you. having us. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. It's great to have you.